Hi dads, welcome back to another tutorial. It's me, Brianna Marie, and I'm sorry that I don't have a intro, nor do I have an outro, because the memory card that I had the intro and outro on, my daughter broke it, okay? So I have to go to the store and get a new memory card, two new ones. Anyways, um, I am not going to hold you down. Um, so what I'm doing right here is taking my um, dip brow, well, this is a brow gel by beauty bakery i don't know if you heard of them on instagram but they have marvelous products so they're also really known for their lip products and their lip products are dope so this is in the shade brownie it's actually lighter than the anastasia beverly hills ebony so i'm kind of liking this because i can use this from now on and not the anastasia more when i do dramatic looks and then i can use this when i do a more softer look whenever that is but anyways, I know that you all like um talk through, so I am trying to do this talk through three talk through thing now so that you all can probably understand a little better. So what I did was actually take my MAC wing liner brush or brow liner. They have so many brushes, but this is a brow liner or a wing liner brush, and I'm just actually following my natural brow. Um I am going on the bottom first and then I'm going to top first with that shade brownie which is the brow gel you want some today <laughs> y'all hear her okay so that's basically what I'm doing and then what I'm going to do is take my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in the shade NC45 and also NC42 I like to um, do both of those shades because um, at the bottom I like to put the lighter shade because when I do my brow bone it pops and y'all already know that y'all be like oh she be hitting when she be doing the brow bones so yes I just like it and it just gives it a more cleaner look at the bottom when I do the lighter shade so um, this flat brush to conceal the brows is everything so this is a, a, a concealer brush and it just goes right with the brows because it just forms with the shape of the brows so I'm just doing that um, I should have speeded this one up but um, I just want you to see what I'm doing a updated eyebrow tutorial is coming really soon so I will let you guys know when it's going to be up so the palette that I tried today y'all so we're going to talk about that the palette that I tried today um I really like the palette but the palette is chalky okay so i love the color i love when i swatch it on my hands um but you can feel that chalky residue um and it was just like um should i put this eyeshadow up or should i not so i didn't do the eyeshadow today so we're just going to be showing well, i'm just going to be showing my dolls how i cover up my dark marks and bumps with affordable and drugstore products so we're just going to color correct and we're going to show a foundation basically um, that you can use to cover up your dark marks and bumps with. So that's what I'm doing today in this tutorial and I hope that you like it. So right here I'm just still doing my brows. <laughs> Y'all are going to take forever doing the brows. So you can actually call this a, a brow tutorial but it's not an in-depth one so you can just keep watching. Okay, honey, so we offered them brows. I didn't get the eyes off camera. Um, the liner that um, is on my eyes, the blue one, is from Beauty Bakery. I also have a, um affiliate code with them, so I will leave everything in the description right below. So I'm just taking my Sasha Buttercup. I also have a coupon code that you can get some money off with them as well. And I'm just taking my Sasha Buttercup um, mattifying primer and just to like minimize those pores and what I'm going in with is that um, medium deep contour 
no not contour the concealer palette from mac um a dupe for this orange shade is um orange by la girl pro concealer you can use that one but i feel that that one is a little bit too orange so this one if you want to spend the bucks then you can get this palette because it has all shades and all types of shades that you can use but if you want to just go to your local beauty supply and spend that 3 dollars because then those la girl pro concealers did go up y'all i'm telling y'all it was like 2 dollars or something like that and they went up like two dollars more or a dollar more but um that's what i'm doing i'm just taking that um, orange corrector and covering up all the dark marks that are really really pigmented um so that it won't see through because this um foundation that i'm about to use it doesn't cover up the pigmentation and the dark marks as well as i wanted to so make sure you correct but if you have a full coverage foundation, you don't really have to do that. All you have to do is put it on and the bumps and dark marks are gone. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to take my beauty blender and we're going to blend that out. Okay, so I will be announcing the giveaway winner sometime this week. And I will be doing a live stream video. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm just waiting for you all's products to come in. Um, I'm only going to be um, having two dials that are going to win the contest. Um, and then my next giveaway will be at 100,000 dials. We are so close, dials. And I am so excited. And I appreciate you, dials, so much for supporting me. This truly means a lot to me and i really appreciate you through the beginning and it's not the end definitely not the end but yeah stay looking out for the giveaway winners So the foundation that I am using is 360 and 355 Coconut by Maybelline. This is like the best foundation on the market. So you can use this for your clients. You can do, use this for yourself. But this foundation is the best drugstore foundation on the market right now. Um, it is killing the game. It just leaves your skin all flawless, all dewy, all buttery. I don't know. I just really, really like this foundation when it comes to the drugstore. Uh, foundation so um, I'm just taking my Morphe uh, foundation buffer brush and I'm just buffing that into the skin now I'm not swiping it do not swipe the foundation tap the foundation into into the skin um, I don't swipe it because you'll see those streaks in your foundation and you do not want to see that so make sure you go on to your neck I don't know if I did it I probably did go on to my neck but go on to your neck try to cover the concealer um, that you use for your um upper brow and just do you honey <laughs> So after you done buff that into your skin, honey, and it looks all flawless, um, you can start right here. I don't know. Some girls just don't, you know, agree with the contouring and highlighting. So you can just put some powder on and go on about your day. But me, I like to do the extra. So we about to do extra, honey. And we about to put that highlight under the um, eyes areas, down the bridge of the nose, the forehead, the chin, the cubits bow. Everywhere where you got highlight going on, honey. So you'll know where you got highlight going on because you'll see that glow. Like, you see that glow in the middle of my forehead? That's where you put the highlight at. Um, you will see a little bit of sheen in, underneath the eyes, a little bit on the cupid's bow, and down the bridge of the nose, and on the chin. But you don't have to necessarily highlight all these places. So, um, I just highlight under these places because I just like the way it looks when um, I take pictures. And also how it gives my um, shape face a little, you know different shape <laughs> i don't know what to say but i just like <laughs> how i like the whole thing of highlighting the contour 
so that's what I'm doing right now and I'm just going to blend this in I'm sorry for my daughter <laughs> she's going crazy I'm just going to blend this in and I'm also going to put banana powder on my face not banana powder um Sasha buttercup uh, powder and we're just going to do that on the highlighted areas and also I am not cream contouring today or what a surprise I am going to use my blush by Mac so you can use any blush or you can use any contour palette a good one is black radius which I should have used in this one but whatever I had on the table and reach that's what I use so you're going to set it with the buttercup setting powder on the highlighted areas and then you're going to set it with max um mineralized skin finish or any powder that you have um that's affordable or that you want to use so we're just doing that and make sure you blend everything in before you set so we're just going to do that So that concealer shade was in the shade Fine. Um, Fine is a little bit too light for me. I don't know why I keep using that one. I don't know something about it that I just like. Um, but you, for my skin tone, I just use um, toffee. So I just used toffee and then I just powdered my skin with Max. Um, what is this? I think this is a powder, loose powder foundation or a loose powder um, that I'm just putting on my skin right now to give more color back to bring color back into my skin. Um, to, to give more color <laughs> to bring color back into my skin and then what I'm gonna do is contour with max blunt blush now I said an affordable one would be the black radiance contour kit that I have and I don't know why I didn't use it so I'm just wiping off the powder as well and then what I'm going to use to highlight with is beauty bakeries um highlighter and a what well, I think it's illuminated or so icy or something like that so I'm going to use that to highlight then I'm going to use max raisin blush to put a little bit of color in my skin and then honey we're going to move on to the lips
Okay, so I am filling this Lip Whip by Beauty Bakery. Everything that they sent me, man, was so, oh my God, so dope. And the lips, you cannot take them off unless you have that um, lip remover that they um, provided with me in the box. I tried to take this off last night with a um, beauty, not a beauty, a um, wipe. And it was not coming off, honey. I'm telling you, this... It's hard to come off, but they are so beautiful. The only thing about this lip, though, that I don't like is you can feel it on the lips. Like, it, it's not comfortable wearing. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you feel something, you feel something. But, um, I am about to spray this, honey. Everything will be in the description right below as far as coupon codes and everything else. But I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to comment right, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on Mondays and Thursdays. Mwah.